Hey, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. And in this video, we're looking at ways you can save your footage. So if you've got tons of what you think is unusable footage, we're gonna show you in this video how actually some of that footage within reason could be saved. You know, we don't always have time to use ND filters, gimbals, tripods, and everything else. So you may look back at some of the footage you've got and think this is just not usable at all. But we're gonna show you a few tricks of the trade to actually get some of these shots looking really good. And maybe if they're just for B-roll, they could actually make a great addition to any film that you're making. So let's jump into it. Tip number one is white balance. So the first tip is very easy, but an extremely important fix. And that's making sure your white balance is corrected before you start color grading. Now, the easiest way to do this is simply use the white balance selection tool here. And just clicking onto something white in your frame will correct it automatically, making it look much more natural and realistic, especially with the temperature and the tint, making the white in the frame actually how it's meant to look to the human eye. If you have skin tones in your shot, you can also single this out by masking it and then looking at your vector scopes in the Lumetri scopes. Then adjusting the temperature and the tint so the skin is accurate on the line. And then finally, if you don't have anything white in your shot, you can do this manually by looking at your parade stops here and making sure the red, blue and green are all nice and level. Tip number two, reframing. So don't be scared to scale up your shot a little bit so you can actually reframe and make a better composition. If you're shooting in 6K or 4K, reframing will easily be doable and you won't really notice much loss in resolution and the quality will still actually be quite sharp. Definitely be careful on scaling in too much because you will eventually start to see some loss in the sharpness the more and more you scale up. Now, whilst we're scaling in, this leads on to the next tip and that is fixing your horizon. Now this is a very subtle adjustment, but it really helps massively on fixing things. Fixing your horizon is generally just making sure your shot is level rather than being slanted like this or like this. Sometimes even when we're using a tripod, the shot can still be a little too tilted, especially if you're working in outdoor scenarios and outdoor services. So this is an easy fix. And to do this, just go to your effects panel and then just tweak the rotation until it's absolutely level and then increase the scale a little bit if you need to, to hide some of the black parts that are shown. A good shortcut to help you adjust the sliders more precisely is to hold down Command or Control. This will make it move more slowly so you can really get it nicely finely tuned. Tip number four is using digital zoom. This again is actually a very subtle adjustment and it's just adding a slight digital zoom or pan just to mimic the movement of a slider. And it gives your shots a little bit just more of interest to look at and adds emphasis to a focus point in your shot. It's really as simple as this. With your shot, go to the effects panel and the scale is on 100. Now all you need to do is add a keyframe at the start and then go to the end of your shot and scale into like seven or eight depending on how quick you want it. Now, just a little tip here, just be careful as you don't want it to look too artificial and be too fast. You just want it to be nice and subtle. Now you can obviously slow pan out as well. And then if you want to do a movement left or right, just scale in a little bit, but then move your position to where the shot starts like so. Now add a keyframe and then go to the end of your clip and then just simply press this reset perimeter icon here. And this will bring it back to its original position. And now you have a nice slow left or right pan. So there we go. They are just a few little tips that you can do to your footage to really improve the look of your footage. And we use these here all the time at Editor's Key. So next time you watch one of our videos, keep a lookout for one of those slightly sort of pans moving in and out. As we use them a lot here to really kind of spice up some of the footage. So I hope that's helped. If you've got any tips, leave them for me below because we might feature those in a future video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.